The Joint Institute for Nuclear Research is a well-known international scientific center. It includes 18 member states and six associate members. For over 60 years, theoretical and experimental research has been conducted there in elementary particle physics, nuclear physics and condensed matter physics. Here, discoveries of the Nobel class are made and the prestige of JINR in the world has always been very high. It is no mere chance that the Joint Institute is the place where one of the most ambitious scientific projects of Russia is taking shape, the mega-project NICA, or the Nuclatron-based Iron Collider Facility. Since 1993, the only in Europe and Asia superconducting accelerator of nuclei and heavy ions, the Nuclatron, has been operating at the JNR laboratory of high-energy physics, the new collider complex, is developed now on the basis of this accelerator. The Nika Cornerstone Laying Ceremony was held in March 2016, on the day of the 60th anniversary of JINR establishment. At present, active construction work is conducted on the site where the collider rings of 336 meters in circumference and experimental halls will be installed. The Nika Collider Complex is called a younger brother of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Likewise, the Nika facility is developed with international cooperation. It will tackle the tasks as ambitious as those at CERN. The main difference of the Russian complex from the LHC is in the initial tasks of experiments. The LHC was mainly developed for the search of the Higgs boson, the particle that conveys mass to all other particles. Nika will make it possible to study the aspects of the universe origin, dated back to million years, and in particular the process of formation from gluons and quarks of baryonic matter particles which existed only at the early stage of the universe evolution and deep in neutron stars. Experiments at NICA will help to unveil the mystery of the universe genesis. Physicists will try to obtain and study the mixed phase that consists of general matter and quark-gluon plasma. After the Big Bang, free quarks with gluons and neutrons with protons existed all at the same time. It is generally thought that quark-gluon plasma lived for parts per million of a second and became building blocks for everything in our world. That is why the moment of transition from mixed phase to pure plasma is very interesting. To study such phenomena, it is necessary to produce baryonic matter of maximum density like in neutron stars. But for research of these processes, there is no need to apply the energy of the LHC scale. The facility in NICA will make it possible to study interactions of beams of a whole variety of particles, from protons and polarized neutrons to massive ions of gold. It is planned to accelerate heavy ions to energy of 4.5 GeV and protons to 12.5 GeV. NICA is a facility that consists of a three accelerator cascade. It was developed with an account of the capacity of the existing superconducting ion synchrotron nucleotron. In the experiments, a booster that will use the magnets which are scheduled to be installed in the synchrophosatron will provide the necessary intensity to particles. For any accelerator of high energy, an acceleration cascade is required. From the source of particles under acceleration to the first stage of linear acceleration and then to several cyclic accelerators to reach the necessary energy level. The booster is the first cyclic accelerator to achieve the design energy. It will revive once again the legendary synchrophosatron in a new quality. The Nika booster will be in the synchrophosatron yoke near the nucleotron. It will serve as a pre-accelerator for the nucleotron. The beam in it 
will be accelerated to the energy a little less than 600 MeV and injected into the nucleotron. After that, it will be transferred to the collider. In the collider, the beam will be accumulated and the interaction will be organized in order to see in the detector what physics occurs in particle collision. If a phase transition exists, together with the phenomena that scientists will look for in the Nika project. The first setup installed in the synchrophosotron yoke in the Nika project was the system of beam electron cooling in the booster, a new element of the future accelerator. Power systems, magnet systems were assembled. The correction of the magnetic field was made and good results were obtained. The Dubna Collider complex will be equipped with an MPD detector to conduct experimental research of hadron matter and its phase transition and an SPD detector for experiments with polarized nuclei to study spin effects. These setups will be placed in two points of the interacting beam's collision. One more detector will be placed in the collider, BM at N, to study baryonic matter. Baryonic matter at the nucleotron will be the first experiment of the Nika project. The extracted beams will include those with heavy ions. So, it is quite a set of modern detectors. But the main project of Nika is MPD. This experimental setup will be located at the point of collision of interacting beams of heavy elements. The MPD detector is designed for studies of properties of hot and dense nuclear matter produced in heavy iron high energy collisions. The detector includes many different subsystems. At the Laboratory of High Energy Physics, one of the main injectors for the future collider complex has been launched, a linear accelerator of heavy ions. It's an important achievement in the implementation of the NICA project. The LINUC is a new basic injector pre-accelerator. It will be part of the NICA accelerator complex. Before that, a linear accelerator of deutrons and light atoms had been launched, also for the NICA collider. It was intended for injection of protons and deutrons, including polarized ones, into the nucleotron accelerator complex and the Nika Collider. In the Laboratory of High Energy Physics, mass production of superconducting magnets for Nika has been launched. Superconducting magnets are known in the world as magnets of the Dubna and Nucleotron types. They were developed at the laboratory and have proven to be reliable in the successful operation of the Nucleotron. In total, over 600 superconducting magnets will be produced in Dubna in equal halves for two projects, NICA and GSI FAIR at Germany. It is planned that as a result of the implementation of the NICA project, Russia will become one of the world leaders in fundamental research in high energy physics. The intricacy of modern tasks in science and technology demands consolidation of scientific potential to unite resources of many countries. 16 institutions and organizations of the Russian Federation, 79 institutes from foreign countries take part today in the implementation of the project Nika Complex. Along with JINR member states, China, Germany, Italy, France, the Republic of South Africa, Israel and Egypt also expressed their interest. The first startup is planned for 2019 and the complex is to start full capacity operation by 2023. Dubna will be the place where experiments will be conducted which are not possible in other accelerator centers in the world. The goal of the NICA project is not only in fundamental research of super dense nuclear matter, it is also accomplishment of a wide range of innovative and applied tasks in material sciences and development of new materials, medicine and beam therapy, 
radio biology, electronics, research and programs of the Russian Federal Space Agency, management and recycling of radioactive wastes, development of new safe sources of energy, cryogenic technology. There are plans to reconstruct the Big Bang at the Collider, though on the miniature scale. Scientists want to see in what condition nuclear matter will be when it reaches such density. It is here where the most interesting thing happens, construction of a theory only in the process of formation. So new discoveries are in store for us.